Hello everyone, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today we are playing as Kane, and we can really go any way with this that we need to go. I need to just get progress done, either dark room or chest, it doesn't matter to me which route we take. So depending on how powerful the run becomes, and if I feel like we're able to handle it, that is really what determines what route we'll go. So uh, here is the seed by the way. For those of you who would like to play along and yeah hopefully good things happen and hopefully we don't have a difficult time of this I did a whole run as uh, Eve got a bunch of progress done I forgot to hit the record button so that's a tad bit of a waste it was a good run too picked up the leech in the first room the first item room I have a bomb why am I not thinking. Spiders. It would be spiders. Well, that's a shame. I hate these rooms with the spikes. They're just bad for my health in general. I never have a good time with them. I always take damage in them. And I'm not really playing all that great right now. It's been a long day. Going on four hours of sleep. It's 2 a.m. recording. It's a 1.56 a.m. recording. I stand corrected. Uh, yeah. It's a tad bit late right now. Just got done uh, doing all that family holiday stuff that we have to do. Tis the season to get headaches from dealing with family and all of their idiosyncrasies. It's a fun time, though. I'm going to wait on the soul hearts. Kind of wish I didn't just because I'm probably going to take damage here and that would be stupid of me. But that's just the way it goes. Especially when you start as Kane and you don't have much range and the enemies have all of the range ever. It's just slightly problematic. A little. Kinda. It's fine though. We'll get a range up or something eventually. We at least have good damage. Better than Isaac's base damage. So, we've got that going for us. And there's our chest. Full health, wonderful. Good to know that's in the rotation. Very, very good to know indeed. Well, the dead bird hopefully will decide to actually be useful and attack Pin. Or maybe not, you know? It could just be totally useless to me for the fight. Really depends on how it feels. It's not that fantastic of an item in my opinion. It does a little bit of damage here and there. That's something. It's not really what we want. But, it helps. So a speed up? Uh, yeah. I'm okay with that. I don't have much of a choice otherwise. I would have preferred a health up, I would have preferred a damage up, I would have preferred a lot of things, but we don't have that luck. So the secret room, well, we're not going to bother. It can't be to the right of this one, so it's got to be right over here. It's got to be up here. It's the only one that made sense. And we'll visit the shop just because I don't actually have to go through that room with all the uh, pokey trap things. Okay, blue map or regular map? That is the question. Blue map lets me see the secret room and top secret room, which could easily point me towards the boss. Or the regular map showing the layout of the floor. Regular map seems more worthwhile to me at this point in time. And moving on. Moving forward, moving floorward. See what we can find. Well, we might as well check this, because there's all of those end rooms. You know? And end rooms are good things. They're filled with good stuff. So, uh, I'd like to get that taken care of. 
figured my chance of finding the item room was pretty high, considering, I mean, all but one end room is this way. Nod leaf. Fantastic. So I could just stand still in a room, let the dead bird derp around and do its thing. We're gonna go here now, because screw the rules. Health down. Oh, God. As if losing my soul hearts wasn't enough. It's not going to be that way. That'll be the shop. The item room will be, or rather, the boss room will be down the longest path. It's a general rule. It's the way it always is. That's really unfortunate, though. Like, extremely unfortunate. But, on the bright side, we can take our time and shoot the poops. We might get something good. I'd really like to find a soul heart or two. And we didn't get anything, that's typical. Bomb for a bomb. It's actually worthwhile to blow those up, as I was saying. Because they can drop money and quarters and all that good stuff. And it's free, so why not? You never know what you'll find. Plus, it's always worthwhile to blow up by... Uh, I don't like you, champion jerk. Uh, it's always a good idea to blow up as much as you can, simply due to the fact that there are the uh, black markets and the secret trapdoors, which are usually, you know, good things to get. They lead to good stuff. Most of the time can't think of a time when one hasn't led to good stuff, so, you know, I'm totally all for it. Damn. The blood isn't disappearing fast enough for me to make this easy to dodge. For me to make this easy to dodge. You mean what I know. Uh, yeah. This is a bad decision. Scary things are happening. I should have gone to the shop, just because I have a key and there's probably a soul heart there. But, I didn't do it. I wonder if it'll, uh... Make the dead bird spawn if... No, it doesn't appear that way. That'd be too good if it did. We wouldn't want anything to be too good, would we? So the goat head makes it so we are immune to damage from above. That does not count. Well, not immune to damage from above, but it means that we'll damage things from above. Possibly immune to damage from above? I I don't know that. But that is something I had heard in the past. Um, essentially, if anything touches us from above, for example, the wall masters or mom's foot, it will take damage. I don't know if we'll take damage as well. I Health up, wonderful. That's perfect. That's what we need. Justice. Cool. And now we're back in business. We might come back to that golden chest. I should break the rest of these poops. It's just the, it's just the smart thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And we have the time to do it. So we're gonna... Okay, visiting the shop again is something we're totally doing. I should save that key until after I visit the shop. Blowing up as much of these mushrooms as possible is also something we're totally doing. Tears up, nice. Larry Jr., how about you stop? This won't get all of them effect, but here, will it? Let's just go in and out center ourselves that way and see what we can get. It does get all of them, and we got mini mush, so speed and range up. We're quite fast now. Lemon party, another health up pill. We're in business. We are in business. That's a good thing. 
And the lovers, that'll spawn two uh, red hearts on use. Whoop, that's a... That's my own fault. I'm just too fast. Too fast for my own good. So yeah, blowing up the mushroom can get you any mushroom-related item. I was about to say onion for some reason. I, I can't even explain that in any way, shape, or form. That's the health down pill. We're, we're going to skip out on that. Uh, starter deck. That will make it so that all pills are... That's the health down as well. That'll make it so that all pills are uh, bad. <laughs> and by that I mean non-existent. They just won't be there. They'll be replaced by tarot cards. It's not something that we want. We're not going to take it. Especially since there's a tears up pill in the rotation. And we already know what the health down and health up pills are. So it's just not worth the uh, effort. Come on now. Any day now, they will die. See? Told you. They're dying. Slowly but surely. A battery that would have been nice to not get hit there. That's a shame. Alright. Pestilence. Cool. So we'll get a cube of meat for this, which is extremely good considering uh, we can just stand around and let enemies jump into us and hit the cube of meat and die. So if I was a more patient person, I could totally just let these enemies do their thing and let the dead bird do it. But as soon as I get the chance to get out of this circle of death, I am going to do so. See? Not a problem. And it's nice because the dead bird can continue to build up damage while I deal with the other enemies. Cube of meat. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I wonder how much health I have. Because I should have taken that with me. That's what I thought. Okay, I hope the devil room is still open. I'm down for that. And I'll go back and buy the last one and get another health up because it's worthwhile to do this. Thank you, game. You are the best. I didn't need to buy that heart because there's a heart there and I have the lover's card. But I did it, so we're going to just move on. So I think I've got two hearts now, two red hearts, still. But, you know, I don't I don't get to see that. Because who wants to know how much health I have? I don't. So, the cube of meat will uh, block tears and damage enemies. Seven damage on contact, if I recall correct. It also does block bones. I just can't line up anything properly. So, don't worry about that, it's just, that's just me being bad. That's the health up pill, or health down pill, rather, see? So we'll have to remember that's, actually we're just going to take it with us. Who am I kidding? Wow. Item room? No item room. Not this time. We'll find it though. Puberty. Useful just kind of makes you look weird. So I suppose it's a little realistic in some ways. So now I've got the uh, Guppy's hairball as well, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So it just sort of swings around. It will also block tears and damage enemies on contact. The more enemies it kills, the bigger it gets and more damaging it gets. So I could just stand still. And wait for enemies to walk into me. But this bone dude's just being a jerk, so uh, never mind that plan. Ooh, faith up. I'll take that. Doesn't hurt me. 
Really? Because that's not supposed to be there. I mean, I realize you can't bomb into special rooms now. Oh, duh. No, that, that's fine being there. I'm just stupid. Don't worry about me. Lemon party. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the health down still. Just because it's the smart thing to do. Because we're probably gonna get a devil room. I hope we get a devil room. And we can trade health away and still have hearts. After the fact. You know... All of the hearts. And there's the boss. Yeah, you get back down in there. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Chub. Cool. So as you can see, my orbitals, my orbital, and my, uh, hairball sort of tear through anything and everything that comes close. Nice easy way to beat bosses. Completely invincible during the process, and we get our devil room. Alright, I picked up the goat head. Well, there's Abaddon. So, the smart thing to do here would be to get this and this Really, I didn't have any soul hearts. I could swear I had soul hearts, but I hadn't been able to see my health in two floors. That's a really... That's my own fault. Well, had I known... I should have used the pill. I should have used the pill, taken the Horror Babylon, and then taken Abaddon. And I would have lived that way. That's really unfortunate. Cause then I would have had an invincible run. I could just let it, I could have let everything walk into me and die, and I would have been perfect. I would have been in great shape. That's really, really upsetting, and I lost track of my own health. And I'm not doing an XL floor. Not happening. That's really, really sad, guys. I'm <sighs> my own fault. My own fault. Struggled for that for a little while. I would have been in great shape had I thought and realized how much health I lost. I thought I had a soul heart. I really did. I should have played it safe, though. Should have just played it safe. Damn. <laughs> that would have been such a good run. That would have just been such a good run. Although now we have easy mode, so we're fine. I'm content with this, I suppose. But it's, it's not as satisfying as having everything walk into me and die, so I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I'm still pretty disappointed about that. That would have been a great run, and not a typical run in any way. Like, I didn't have damage. I didn't have a lot of damage from my tears. But I was invincible when standing still, and I had great orbitals, and I ruined it because I lost track of how much health I had. And I had the ability to live, too. That's, that's the worst part. I had the ability to live through that and be perfectly fine. But I just, I messed up. And there goes my Devil Room chance. So you know... I'm dead. I'm totally gonna die again. Okay, I'm good. I'm gonna live. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a nice game. Thank you for that. Thank you for that wonderful item you just gave me. That I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it's a wonderful item just because I can't get it. And the game's taunting me with that information. Well, I've got the petrified poop now, so more drops from poops and such. So we might as well just tear through all of them. I don't need to hit that one yet. Uh, 
Mr. Adam, what are you? Deck of cards, okay. Temperance? Ah, uh, sure. Rainbow Poop fully heals your red hearts. I still can't believe I messed up on that. I still cannot believe how badly I messed up on that. It's a shame. It's really a shame. And it's my own fault. Whoops. Converter. Uh, we'll see, actually. I might be tempted to do that. I probably won't. Luck down. Well, that's... that's just wonderful. Chariot? Okay. I don't have any bombs. Not the recommended course of action. I don't have any keys. <laughs> Ugh, this run. This whole episode. That last run, though. Ugh. That's so disappointing. It is possible to do that. I'm just bad. Whoop, hi there. I had the map, I had a source of invincibility, I had a source of damage well invincible. And I just, I ruined it. I ruined it, guys. It's so, so sad. Balls of steel. I'd like a key. Joker, just in case, okay. I mean, I, I should get at this floor. I can't imagine not. Ball of bandages and, of course, the devil room. Uh, Guppy's head and the Whore of Babylon. Probably just because I got that soul heart, I'm willing to take both. So, Horror of Babylon, damage, speed, range up. Guppy's head, spawns kamikaze flies once per room. A dime. Puberty, whatever. I've got all this money and no keys for the shop. Not exactly sure where the spiders came from either. Probably from the uh, red chest in the devil room, actually. Whoa. Come on. Go. Haha. -ha. I made it. I still failed to make it the first time, but I made it. Kinda. Sorta kinda. Gluttony, give me your heart. Thank you. So lost the Horror Babylon state, that's fine. Not the end of the world. So, uh, how about those keys, game? The keys that you totally want to give me for all of these wonderful things that you're throwing in my face. Key? You're a jerk, game. You're just a jerk. And no one likes you. Especially me. Be that way. Make me lose out on all of these wonderful things. 
I didn't want them anyway. I still have a chance. I still have a chance. But of course I get more bombs. You know, it's just the way it is sometimes. Ugh, I still can't believe I messed that last round up. I'm dwelling on it. I know, I'm dwelling on it. I shouldn't be. But I am. Whoop. Uh, left hand, all chests will be red chests. That means good things. That means I can actually have a shot at getting guppy without trading health away. We're just gonna do it now. Demon baby, how about no? It's not what I'm interested in. I'm an idiot, guys. I'm an idiot for messing that last run up. I had invincibility and a source of damage. How do I still manage to kill myself when I have those things? Clearly, I find a way. I'm going in. Because I know I can just buy this. And I'll buy this. And I'll buy this. And... That was a good pill last run. I figured I'd give it a shot. And build a fly army. Because why not? Ugh. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to take that with me really badly, but the left hand, though. The left hand, though, I kind of... I want to take the curved horn, because that's an awesome trinket. It's a straight damage up. So, that's totally just... Yes. That's something I want in my life. But... That's a tinted rock right there. Uh, but... No, no, no. Uh, as I've been saying... But, I kind of want to have the chance for Guppy. Because the Guppy chance is just better. Because I've got damage. I've got the knife. I'm good on that. Monster manual. So, uh, that item can actually be a really, really good thing to have. You can get extremely lucky. As you saw, it did give me a cube of meat. If you uh, get enough uses for it within a single room, it can, in theory, get you Meat Boy or uh, Bandage Girl on its own. Which is kind of insane and awesome. So that's something to keep in mind if you're having trouble getting those, which I most certainly am. Just gotta get away to get a lot of rerolls in one room. It's no big deal. It's super easy. If you have the uh, sharp plug, then it actually is no big deal and super easy. But spiders. It would be spiders. Peep. That would happen. I mean, altogether, we're not doing terrible on our health. I've already seen this devil room, so I don't need to worry about it. Um... I'm gonna keep the hand. 
I'm keeping the left hand. It might not be the best decision, but it's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the matchbook, just because of the fact that I don't need more speed. I'm kind of speedy as it is. Man, that last run. That last run had such potential to be really cool. Ah, Spike got me. Yeah. What an unpleasant room. Not dealing with that. Can't make me care about that. Cannot do it. Okay, wall masters. And there's the last of them. Keep going down. Ah, uh, that's kind of almost worth it. Peeper. Pretty much useless, but whatever. Speed up, nice, that's totally what I need. Amnesia. Thanks, game, you're the best. I always wanted to have no clue where I was going. That's the best part about the game. Being 100% hopelessly lost. It could be worse. It really could be. Could have Curse of the Maze and Amnesia. That's the worst combo. That's when you're truly lost. But today is not that day. And I'm okay with that, you know? It's not something I want in my life. That combo. It's not a good time. I've had it once, I never want to have it again. So, uh, yeah. I'll just not deal with that. Collar. Two thirds. Totally was facing this direction when I let go of the knife, but, uh, I guess the game says otherwise. And that's why I took the left hand. It's very, very nice to have. Nope. Just nope. Not interested. Not my thing. Not my idea of a good time. Would not recommend to a friend. Nope out of 10, IGN. Alright, so I think we've actually cleared off this whole side. Let's go this way. Back to the way we started from. Okay. Well, we found enemies, so that's progress. Because you know if you find enemies in a game, you're going the right direction. Ah. My knife missed. How sad.
Yeah, I'll do that. I wish I hadn't done that. That was lucky. That was extremely lucky. In every way, shape, or form, that was luck. And I didn't deserve it. Because I'm being reckless and stupid. And that's just what I do. Uh, one bomb for two. Just kind of realized that. And there's a key down there that I just completely overlooked. We're gonna go this way. Come on, get the key. I'll do that too. Could get goat head or something. Or Bob's brain, which I'll totally skip out on. But we found the boss. Did I go to the item room on this floor? I don't think that I did. And if I did, I skipped it. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're just, we're gonna go. Uh, let's see, an all stats up or a damage up? Let's go for the all stats up. Because that's just what makes the most sense. Do that again, just one more time. Please. I'd appreciate that. I'd like it very much if you did that again. We'll also get the boss rush, so we can check that out too. Come on. Red Mom, behave yourself. check this before we go anywhere. No. Not down for that. We're just gonna go... F we're gonna have fun with it. Because I'm still quite upset about the last run. Okay, so Tiny Planet Mom's Knife sounds interesting. Monstro's Lung Mom's Knife sounds interesting. I don't think it would work. But I'm quite tempted to try it. But we're not going to. We're not going to even bother with the boss rush. I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. I'm still upset about that last run. <laughs> not even going to lie. I'm still... I'm still dwelling on it, guys. I do apologize. But... That would have been such a cool run. It's not even the fact that I... Just... It's not even the fact that I died? It's just the fact that I could have not died. The fact that I had it it was completely within the realm of possibility within my power to keep myself from dying. That stupid death. And I still die that stupid death. You know? That's what is really unfortunate about it. That's what I don't like. But, oh well. As I say all the time in my videos, it is what it is. Guppy? No. Yeah, I don't really need that golden, uh, that kind of penny for anything. It's not useful to me. You know what would be really useful to me? A red chest with a guppy item in it. Like the paw. Okay, polycephalus. Wow, okay, polycephalus. You can be that way. You jerk.
Well, it's not this way. The boss was not that way, to say the least. Protect that devil room chance. Didn't take red heart damage yet. No reason uh, for us to do that. It's a bad thing. It's not something we want. So a soul heart would be nice. Again. Because I... Whoa. <laughs> you almost got me, game. Oh, well. GG Devil Room. I'm totally going to lose it in this one. Yeah. Just because of how these rooms are. Aha! I did it. Now I did it, guys. Just gotta stay calm. Stay focused, and I'm fine. Or, you know, I could just let that happen. That's an option, too, you know? Come on, pick up the key. Okay, tinted rock. Marked rock, rather. Nothing. Really, you couldn't drop me a heart? That's all I need. Just one. Oh, duh. Silly me. The gate. The double gate. What? Uh, there's a rock there. I couldn't... I tried to walk to the right and go around the hole, and I didn't see that there was a rock right there. So, not paying attention, I thought, you know, oh, I must be around it by now, and I just pressed down and missed my items, which were both health ups, which would have been really nice, because I don't have health. I don't have the amount of health that I need at the moment, in any way, shape, or form. So, that's problematic, to say the least. That last run could have worked so well. Now I'm struggling with a knife run. Like that run, pre that previous run was just given to me. The game was just offering it up. Here, win. Take all of these things and win. Now the game's like, heh, you, you messed up. You had your chance. We're just not going to give you health. Because you don't need that. You don't want that. Come on. Say, ah. Do it. Open up. Okay, let's see what this is first. Amnesia. How about no? Like, how about just no? I can see forever. That's useful. Speed up, okay. Balls of steel, I'm gonna use it. Cause I mean, Devil Room doesn't mean much. He the speed up. I walked in, let go, and still kept walking because I was going so fast. Sliding. Rather. 
we didn't get anything accomplished. That's extremely unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. God. That's... That's so unfortunate. That run would have been so nice. Oh well, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it should be going up on Christmas, so uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all next time.